Hello guys, welcome to my channel, today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE386120 on PS4. Before we start, try restart your PS4 with the following tip. First, press and hold PS button on your controller, then select turn off PS4. After the PS4 has completely turned off, unplug the power cable from the power source, and disconnect any peripheral attached to your console, such as a controller, headset, hard drive, etc. Wait for about 5 minutes before connecting it again to power and restart the console. Press PS button on your controller to turn it on, after that, if you still cannot start the application, then move on the first methods. Method 1, Use or Change DNS. Open the Settings menu on the PS4. Select Network. Go to Setup Internet Connection, then select the Wi-Fi or LAN cable option depending on how you connect. Here, I will use the Wi-Fi Connect. Next, select the Custom option. Select a Wi-Fi network to utilize if required, and enter the password for it. Choose the Automatic option for IP address settings. Select the Do Not Specify DHCP setting. Choose the Manual DNS setting. Here, I will try with Cloudflare DNS. Type 1.1.1.1 as the primary DNS. Type 1.0.0.1 for the secondary DNS. Alternatively, you can also try with Google DNS. Just type 8.8.8.8 as the primary DNS. And type 8.8.4.4 for the secondary DNS. After that, select the next. Select automatic. Select do not use options to finish. Method 2, restore license. Just go to settings. Select account management. Select restore license. Restoring your licenses may take several seconds to minutes, depending on the number of licenses you have and your internet connection. Method 3, Delete and Reinstall the Application Press the Options button on your controller while highlighting the application icon on the home screen, and select Delete.
Then reinsert your game disc into your PlayStation 4 system if you have a disc version, or go to the library to download the application if you purchase the game in the PlayStation Store. Alternatively, if you have a disc version, try clean the game disc. Just dampen a clean, soft, cotton cloth with water. Use straight strokes and wipe the disc, non-labeled side, from the inside rim to the outside rim. Using a dry part of the cloth, repeat step 2 to dry the disc. After all of the water is gone, let the disc sit for at least 2 minutes to completely dry before inserting it into the PS4 console. Method 4, Rebuild Database. Press the power button present on the front panel of the PS4 to turn it off. The indicator will blink a few times. After turning off your PS4, press and hold the power button and keep holding it until you hear two beeps. The first beep will usually be heard when you press it initially and the second beep when you keep pressing it, for around 7 seconds. Now connect the PS4 controller with a USB cable and press the PlayStation button present on the controller. The PlayStation will now be in the safe mode. Select the option Rebuild Database. At that time, it will warn you that it may take hours. Most of the time, this method will help you to fix the error. Method 5, Check PS4 Hard Drive Heath and Factory Reset PS4. Firstly, you need remove the PS4's internal hard drive. To do this, Please refer to the link in the description. After remove the PS4's internal hard drive is done. On your hard drive, just clean off the connection pieces by use a soft, dry cloth to carefully wipe as follows. Once done, reseat the internal storage of the PS4 and see if problem is fixed. If you are still experiencing issues, the HDD could be corrupted or faulty. Usually, you shouldn't worry much if you don't hear any noise coming out from the hard drive. One more time, remove the PS4's internal hard drive. After that, you need to have a computer, the two SATA cables, data and power, or externally, easier option, using a USB external hard drive enclosure. Connect it to a PC by in one of the two ways mentioned above. Using Crystal Diskinfo software to check the health status of the hard drive. If its condition is not good, I recommend that you better upgrade your PS4 hard drive. To learn more on the health status, please visit this page. In case if you don't get a new hard drive is not possible now or it was only slightly damaged, you can try to full format your PS4 hard drive. A full format will totally eliminate errors on the hard drive and restore its performance. To do that, open File Explorer. Right-click on the PS4's internal hard drive then select Format. Note, you need full format, so uncheck the Quick Format option. Now, click Start. Once done, reinstall the PS4 system software. If you don't know how to reinstall the PS4 system software, please refer to the instructions on this website.
Finally, if you're still getting the database is corrupted error or sometimes it shows up again, then your HDD seems to be on its last leg. It works for now, but I think that it won't be for long. You may need to get a new hard drive, back up your saved data, if you don't already have it saved to the cloud with PS Plus, and install on a fresh drive. That's it guys, hope this is helpful, if you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment, thanks. Thank <music> you.